it's me, Excondensis. In today's video, we are going to be doing a little haul of some things that I bought from an Instagram seller. So if you don't know about like Instagram sellers, there's this thing called a claim sale where essentially for a certain block of time, the seller will just list things. Um, and if you're the first person to claim it and you actually pay for it, it's yours. So that's what this box is. I went a little overboard on the last claim sale. I'll link the seller in the description. I really enjoy this seller. I bought from them many times and I always feel like I get really good deals and I spent a lot of money this time, but I got a lot of really cool stuff. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So let's get started. So by the way, I think, oh, hello, kitty. Um, I, I think I need to make this clear. Um, this isn't being sold by Instagram. It's basically like somebody has an Instagram page that they sell things at. Anyway, let's get started. Let's see what's inside. So the first thing is a bag of doll clothes. So uh, you can claim the clothes directly off the dolls or you can claim the dolls with the clothes that they're wearing. So these are the different outfits <laughs> that I got separated from dolls. So first of all, we have this Cinderella pink dress is very cute. I actually did not have um, the Disney Store version of this dress, which I believe this is the Disney Store version. Might be an older Disney Store version, actually. Not sure. Sometimes you just get something. Um, and then these go to the Frozen 1, like, mini, or this goes to the Frozen 1 mini doll set. Like, it's a dress form for the dresses. And then this is for Mulan, the little cricket friend. Very exciting. And then we have some Monster High doll stands. I guess the Monster High dolls I claimed came with stands. I actually did not think that they would. Um, and then this is really cool, actually. This is a custom-made mermaid tail, and I just thought it was really beautiful, so I grabbed it. And we have a ribbon that probably goes to something to do with this. And then we have, this is just some random doll jewelry that I accidentally claimed. I think it came with a doll that I claimed, but... Okay, this I'm so excited about. This was, the, like, one of the things I was the most looking forward to. So these are Boo York, Boo York, Nefra shoes. Which, I have Boo York, Boo York, Nefra, but she's missing her shoes. I got her at a flea market and she didn't have them. So I am over the moon about these. So excited. So I get to complete my Nefra after all these years. It's been like two or three years. But still, that's <laughs> something. And then this is some other random doll stuff. Came with one of the dolls that I claimed. And then we have this huge coat. No, absolutely no idea what doll this goes to. But I claimed it because I thought it was really luxurious. And it would be fun to use in restyles. Especially with Rainbow High. Um, like Barbie sized clothes for the most part do fit rainbow high. Um, this is a turtleneck. Had to have it adorable. Um, I guess this is just a doll rug for my eventual dollhouse. This I think might be a Lika Chan dress, but I'm not 100% sure. I claimed it because I just thought it was so adorable. So it's a My Melody, like little Lolita-esque dress. Thought it was super cute, so I grabbed it. And then this I believe is a Barbie Basics doll dress. I tried to claim the doll, but I missed the doll, but I accidentally bought the dress, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, in here, I'm not sure what we have, actually. This is something boxed, possibly. I don't know. So let's see what's in the, the paper. Ah, I claimed some furniture. I'm going to be able to build a dollhouse, okay? So when I saw cool furniture, I was like, I need that, so. Um, yeah, that's what these Instagram claim sales... They're the best for people who like restyling dolls because you can grab like random outfit pieces and also for miniature like dollhouse builders because you get stuff like this. So I believe this is meant to be like a kitchen island or like for a restaurant because it's wheeled. Love it. And then in here must be another furniture piece. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, I was so excited about this. So this is a little pretty kitty. I have a couple of these that I've gotten in the past with My Little Ponies and I've been really wanting more because they're... You'll see my My Little Pony 80s collection, just generally my 80s stuff collection. I just absolutely love these. So these were made by Mattel as like a response to My Little Ponies. So they're basically just My Little Ponies, except they're cats. And obviously that is right up my alley, right? You guys know me. <laughs> I love cats. Uh, and I don't have this one and she was a really good price. And I'm shocked I got her actually, because I'm pretty sure I was not the first to claim her, but the other person must have dropped or something. Or maybe I was the first person to claim her. I don't know. But I'm over, I'm so excited. This is really exciting. Okay. Um, now we have dolls. So I got quite a few dolls, uh, mostly doll legit. Okay, we'll, we'll open this first, but there's a lot of dolls. I can see them. <laughs> See? Oh, this is a butterfly chair. I don't have a clue what this goes to. I assume this is from Claire's. I think they're phone stands, but they're perfect doll sized. I'll show you. Um, do I have a Rainbow High doll off of a stand nearby? I do. 
from the stand video. Anyway, they're perfect. So they do have these at Claire's, but they're kind of expensive. So um, finding it for really cheap from an Instagram seller, I was like, yeah, I need that. So awesome. Really, really good size for Rainbow High, actually. Love it. Let's get this cart out of the way. All right. So now for dolls. I guess we'll start here. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so this doll is a 17 inch, not limited edition, but 17 inch Disney doll. This is Aurora. So these were a line of singing dolls that Disney did that I love these. I think they're so nice. I love the limited edition dolls too, obviously, but I really like these Playline versions. And these have become relatively hard to find recently. If you find them at a thrift store, perfect, you know? generally they actually will have their clothes at thrift stores too um and I found them a couple times and I never really picked them up and I regret it a lot so I was really excited to find this one and I think she was $12 which was amazing she doesn't have her shoes or her crown but it's okay I'm very excited about this one they would be really fun to make cut the reason they're so expensive is because people use them to customize into 17 inch limited edition versions of dolls that's my guess anyway um, but I'm very excited. I can figure something out to do with her. And I do have the, I have two limited edition Aurora dolls, actually 17 inch ones. I have the blue dress, amazing one from 2016, maybe. I don't remember the year. And then I have the diamond castle celebration or whatever it's called, which isn't technically limited edition. I don't know. Anyway, uh, next from Princess and the Popper. You guys know that I'm on like a Barbie movie doll kick right now. I'm trying to collect more of them and this is who for some reason I have not been finding at thrift stores but even if I did they tend to be missing some things and this doll had she doesn't have her shoes I don't believe but she had her crown she had her little choker her dress was in good shape and I actually have two Erica's I think and I just never find her and I have this doll boxed so I'm just really happy to finally have one out of box to display with Erica because Erica out of box being displayed next to Annalise in box is kind of like weird so anyway I'm very very excited about this one hi Annalise I'm so happy you're home and beautiful beautiful I've actually never held this doll in my hands before I did not have these as a kid the the color of the dress is really interesting actually I've had the one in box, but I don't know. The dress is almost like an orange tone. It's very pretty. Alrighty. And then we have <gasps> bags of air. I bought air on the internet. People actually do that, actually. Anyway, um, here we have. Okay, so the claim sale was before I bought those Ever After High dolls, I'm pretty sure. So this is actually a double for me now. But this one's actually interesting. So I'll show you. This is Dragon Games Apple, who, again, I have. But this this Instagram seller gave her two of these so that she would have like a full what do I like um shoulder pads but also does mine have the belt I can't even see her all the way over there but anyway a very cute doll I like her <laughs> um I'm not opposed to having doubles all right this doll I, I claimed her because she was cheap this is the um special edition from last year by Hasbro from the Disney style series and I actually just really really love the Hasbro dolls faces I think they're really nice and since this doll is articulated I decided to grab her because maybe I could dress her in a different outfit or something I just think she's really beautiful and there is a two-pack that was Amazon exclusive of these Anna and Elsa in their prologue outfits from Frozen 2 and those dolls I don't super like their faces at least I don't think I do uh, so if I were to ever get them, hopefully I can find them someday, I could put the Elsa dress on this doll because I like this doll a lot. I think she's really beautiful. So yeah, that's why I bought her. <laughs> I just, she was very cute and she was like $3 maybe. Okay, this doll, I keep doing this thing. I think I just really like Elsa. Well, I know I really like Elsa. Um, Every time I find a decently priced Elsa doll, I will buy her. Uh, and my justification is always, oh, well, I have a bunch of extra Elsa outfits, but I don't think there's enough Elsa outfits in existence to justify how many Elsa dolls I have. I'm I'm going through all my dolls right now. I'm unpacking, you know, and I think I found like eight Elsa dolls and those aren't the ones that go on display. Those are just Elsa dolls that I just have. But I really love Elsa, so I don't really mind. Anyway, um, this is Elsa in her prologue dress. And I believe this is the prologue dress from the two pack. I'd have to check. I don't actually think this is the doll that this dress goes to. I think this is the Frozen one, Elsa, but um, very cute, very cute. Well, I know this is not the doll that goes to this actually because of the face, but cute, cute. 
And I have this dress, but I think I do anyway, but it came with the deluxe set, so it's not as nice. And this one has a longer train here on the butt flap. Like, what do you call this? <laughs> train, probably. And then uh, she has like the glitter all over, which is awesome. Elsa. <laughs> okay. I just really like Elsa. Okay. This is, yeah. This is Dragon Games Poppy from Ever After High, and I needed her, so I'm very excited to find another Ever After High doll that I don't have. I've just been on an Ever After High kick recently. I've gotten a ton of Ever After High dolls, and I'm very excited about it. I don't currently have a Dragon Games display, so I need to build one because now I have another beautiful Dragon Games doll to go on that display. So, hi! This doll's actually really pretty. Look at her face gorgeous. I'm really excited that I managed to claim this one because I did miss out on a couple of the dolls that I wanted to claim, but I did get this was one of them because they post previews sometimes with some of the items and I got a lot of the dolls that I really, really wanted, which I'm very excited about. And this was one of them. So this is the Comfy Princesses Multipack Elsa. So if you guys weren't around when these released, let me tell you a story. So this is the Disney store, by the way. The original release did not come with Anna and Elsa, despite the fact that Anna and Elsa are in the movie, which was really irritating. And I got the full set, and it was really expensive so that I could get all of the little mini comfy princesses, right? And then a little bit later, they released Anna, Elsa, and Vanellope in their own set for some reason. I think it's because they separate Disney Princess from Frozen as franchises, but they could have just said Disney Princess and Frozen comfy princesses or something. I don't know. Um, but I was like, I'm not spending $30 on that. Like, no. And then a few years later, or maybe one year later, I don't remember, they released, I think it was, whatever. They, <laughs> a year later, they released a set with everybody in it, Anna and Elsa included now, but I already have everybody except Anna and Elsa, so I was like, oh, I should have bought the $30 set. So now I'm only missing Anna. <laughs> um, and I'm very excited to have Miss Elsa here. You know, I love her. I love them both, but I really like Elsa, so happy to have her. Welcome home. Anyways, next we have, oh, this is Brat Doll. I missed out on every Brat Doll I was trying to get except this one, but I am very excited about this one uh, because I actually have this doll in box and I really like this line of dolls. I think they are just so pretty. I love their super, I don't know how to describe the color scheme of their makeup. It's very like dreamy, like Barbie movie colors. It's so gorgeous. And wow, her hair is really soft. Um, and she does have some issues. So she has the lace on the bottom of this pair, this pant leg coming off, but I think that's it. And she was a really good deal. The doll that I really wanted was Campfire Chloe because I have her, but I'm missing her hat. Ugh. But And mine's jacket got kind of messed up, but it's fine. Um, I'll find her eventually. But I'm very, very happy that I got this one because I don't have any dolls from this line at all. And I have one in box. So um, this one will... I'm so excited to add her to the display. I don't mind the pant leg thing because I can just pop this up. And it's something I know how to fix, but I hate sewing satin. It is my least favorite material in the world. You'll hear me say that a thousand times. And she also has two different shoes, which is kind of funny. But they kind of work. Like, it's not obvious. Anyway, very excited about this brat doll that I have received. All right. And then who do we have here? Buckle up, friends, because... We have fan favorite, weirdly expensive doll on eBay. We have Life in the Dream House, Raquel. I paid $8 for her and she is on my favorite Barbie body, the one, it's like the Fashion Easter's body, but with the chest joint, which is always exciting to me. And I do believe this is the original, but I don't, I don't have a lot of them, so I have no idea. And I don't really care. I just wanted Life in the Dream House, Raquel, and I got her. I do have a like Life in the Dream House two pack talking or singing Raquel or something, but that doll's face isn't my favorite, but this one, yes. I'm never going to find the outfits for these, but I have Barbie Style or something, Midge, who goes with Life of the Dream House. Like, she looks just like them. Um, and now I have Raquel, so I'm really excited. And her hair is also extremely soft. And I've never found this doll at a thrift store, so after all these years, she has come home. And I got her for a steal, like double what I would have paid at a thrift store, essentially. And then the last two dolls, Monster High. You can tell who they are, probably. I shouldn't have spoiled it like that. But anyway, I can't believe I got both of these. I I knew I had claimed them first, but sometimes your Instagram will show you that you commented first, even if somebody else did. And I don't know. But I'm so grateful that I got them. So I got Forbidden Love, Draculaura. She's either missing a shoe or I just relocated the shoe. I'll check later. But anyway, 
I'm so excited. She was, I think, $20 or $30. Like, she was a really good deal considering what they sell for now. And I've this doll. So my stepmom worked at Kroger, which is a grocery store in Texas and in other states, but it's the one my stepmom worked at. But anyway, they had the Forbidden Love pack like two years after it was out of stores. And she kept bringing it up to me. She kept being like, Brooke, we have this set. Like, do you need it? And I was very like, I don't like the Manster's. Like, I don't really want that quad. Like, I do want that Draculaura, but I already have a Draculaura. I had Skull Shores Draculaura and I was like, eh. Um, kicking myself now because I actually really want that set, including Claude. Um, but I love 2.0 as a line and this is technically a 2.0 doll or campus stroll doll. So, um, it's always really bothered me that I don't have her, but she's one of those like fan favorite dolls and also non fan favorite, like casual fan favorites. So she's really expensive online. So I'm just so grateful to have her. Her face isn't perfect, but it's pretty good, especially considering early monster high facial defects. And someday I could find her nude at a thrift store. I just didn't think I would be able to find her with her leggings and stuff. Also, her hair is insanely soft. She must have had a glue treatment. Uh, bangs aren't perfect though, which is great because I don't know how to do bangs very well at all. Um, but I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is Forbidden Love Draculaura. And then it's just a Draculaura kind of day today. And this doll, I'm, oh my God, I can't believe I got this doll. So this is the one I'm the most excited about this whole lot, to be honest with you. Um, she's very well wrapped, actually. This is Draculocker Draculaura. So this was like a store exclusive that was exclusive to this playset, the Draculocker. And I actually got the Draculocker with a ton of extra stuff in it a few months ago at the thrift store. And ever since then, it's just kind of been like, I need this Draculaura. I need her, but she's ungodly expensive online. And this doll is legit in like pristine condition. She might have been 30 to $40. I don't know, but that's a steal in my opinion for this doll. And I'm so excited about her. And I have the Draculocker too. So she's going to have her playset. And look, she even has her necklace and her earrings, which most of my Monster High dolls, despite having their jewelry, are not displayed with their jewelry. Because when I was... I was a smart kid um, while I was like a teenager and a tween, but when I would get my Monster High dolls, I would instantly take off all their jewelry. So all their bracelets, all their necklaces, all their like little headbands and stuff. And I would put them in little Ziploc bags and hide them from myself so that I didn't lose them. So I still have stuff like Operetta and Nefro's rings. Um, I remember I lost Laguna's school club or whatever, like the swim team Laguna's earring. And I was gutted because I dropped the bag it was in and it exploded in my suitcase. And that was the one piece that I lost and I was devastated. But anyway, it's not that important. I just like talking about stuff. A memory pops into my brain. I'm like, I should speak on it. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited about her and her face placement is perfect. I love that it sh her hair is still styled with no glue issues at all. I'm just... And I'm setting up my Monster High display right now, so she's going to be so happy on her new display. I'm so excited! Okay, I'm so grateful for all this stuff. I, Although this ended up being a lot of money, a lot more than I thought it was going to be, I got a bunch of dolls that have been on my wish list forever, and then other dolls that I'm just really excited about, and also all the doll furniture and stuff. Um, and I I'm, I got most of the stuff that I was really excited about and tried to claim. I did miss a couple things, like the, the Barbie Basics doll that came in that red dress. I missed her. <laughs> um, also, Nefra's New York shoes. Like, I'm so excited about all this stuff. And I love this type of Instagram store because they, they're basically collectors that like going to the thrift stores and when they get extra stuff or when they find something interesting, they hold it, they hold onto it and then sell it in a claim sale. And they sell it for good prices because they got them for good prices, but they don't say, oh, this doll sells for like $150 on Mercari. I'm going to price her like that. They actually price them for pretty fair prices, in my opinion, because it's a business. They still need to make profit. But to me, there's a difference between, oh my gosh, I found Forbidden Love Dracula. I'm going to sell her for the maximum eBay sold price, even though she's a disaster. And, oh, I found this doll that's pretty hard to find. I'm going to price her up higher than I normally do, but not like 40 times the value of the doll. I don't know. That's my take on that. But anyways, I actually have one more package from an Instagram seller that's not super pertinent to you guys, but I still wanted to show it on camera. So I'm going to go get that. I'll be right back. All right. So this next box I've also bought from an Instagram seller that I have bought from a bunch of times. So this is Kitare Sales, and I'll put a link in the description to this one as well. And there's a lot of stuff that's really exciting for me, but I don't know how many of you guys will care, but still worth bringing up. So there's some My Little Pony stuff and some Little's Pet Shop stuff. So... Let's check it out. So first, Littlest Pet Shop bag. And 
Renee actually let me look through the Little Pet Shops before she even posted them. She was like, do you need any of these? And I was like, yeah, because I buy, like, every time she lists Little Pet Shops, I buy a, a good amount of them. Um, here is a pillow for a doll. I just claimed this because I thought it was cute. I don't know what to tell you. And then, Little Pet Shops. I love Little Pet Shops. I have a ridiculous amount of them. You guys will be seeing them soon. My mom is so amazing and found me more shelves and got me the exact shelf that I want to use for my little pet shop. So once that's set up, we will do that. But it, it, it has to wait until my mom comes um, to visit me and brings them. Anyway, here's the little pet shop pile. So first, this is an elephant from the like 2017 little pet shop reboot. It's like 2016 actually, but I don't know. Here is a bull terrier. I actually don't have a lot of these. I think I have one or two. So very exciting addition. I just buy the pets that I don't already have. So if, a, if I see an Instagram seller has a pet that I don't have, for a decent price, I will grab them. Um, I think this is called a Jack Russell. I don't know dogs very well. The only dogs that I know super well, I know from like Little Pet Shops, for example. So um, I think that's what this is called, but please don't clown me because I just don't know. Um, really cute one. And this is a hungriest pet. You know how I know? The shines in the eyes are like eaten thing shape. I don't know. Um, this one's super cute. This is a little corgi. I know what corgis are. <laughs> Um, this is a kangaroo, and I have a very similar kangaroo, but I believe the one that I have has, like, starburst-shaped eyes, but I could be wrong. But anyway, very cute. We have this bunny. These were my favorite pets when I was a kid, these little lot bunnies that are on all fours. Um, so I'm really excited about this one, and I don't have this one, but I have a very similar-looking one, but these were my absolute favorites. They were the ones I always played as, so, um, always good to get one of those that I don't have, because when I was a kid, I was actively seeking those out. Um, Jack Russell again, I think. And I don't have a lot of pets in this pose. In fact, I think I only had two to begin with. I got a Chihuahua. This one's really interesting. Like, as little as pet shops go, like, the pattern is very unique. I don't know. Uh, and then this is one of the earlier little pet shops. I think, actually, this is a variant. Um, like, so, a variant in little's pet shop terms at least what I'm talking about, is when number, like, 100, say number 100, each pet has a number. You're supposed to, like, collect them all, right? Um, so they each have a number, and I think this is one of the ones that has a doubled up number, so, like, if you have pet number 100, there's actually two different versions. I could be wrong, but I think that's who this pet is, I think, um, but I don't know. And then I got this, I don't really know what these are, Cocker Spaniels, maybe? Um, I love these ones with the cute, curly ears and stuff. I had like a, I had several of these when I was a kid and I loved them. So it's really exciting to add a new one. And this one has little freckles. And then this is a, um, are these called like collies? I don't know. I actually got two collies. Um, this one was in a series, like a YouTube series. So this one's really expensive online. And I, I have like the open mouth version, but I don't believe that I had this one. So I grabbed these two. This is very exciting. And then a husky. Oh, that's what this is too. These are huskies, which is my favorite type of dog. I like huskies a lot. Uh, guinea pig. I don't have a lot of the guinea pigs and stuff because when I was a kid, I wasn't super into them. I like guinea pigs as an animal, but I don't like this particular little pet shop mold as much. I don't know. And then this guy. The Dalmatian is on this mold, but I don't, I don't know what type of dog. Maybe it's just a generic dog. Sometimes it's just a dog. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that's not all. Oh, my favorite little pet shop that I just got between these two I think I really like these two these ones are so cute this one's like color scheme is very cute and I like this dog it reminds me of Bullseye from Target which I think this is the type of dog that he is and then this lot bunny obviously I just love this okay now for this this is very exciting so I collect My Little Ponies I have a lot of My Little Ponies I don't have a lot of My Little Pony merchandise just because I don't know never really happened upon it and this is 80s my little pony merchandise which is even better and this was stuff that i don't believe that ray had listed or um renee she goes by several names i think but anyway she, i don't think she had listed well she didn't list this she had listed like the the thing that's inside of here this and then i was like i would love to have that and she was like actually i have a matching set so i was like "Ooh, yes please so this is a little wallet and how so it has this uh, My Little Pony little button on it. Who is this pony supposed to be? It looks like a pony with the wrong color scheme, but maybe I'm wrong. And I just don't recognize her because of the watercolors. I don't know. But anyway, G1 My Little Pony merch. Yes, please. So this is like a coin purse slash wallet. Super, super cute. In pretty good condition, too, for something from the 80s. It's marked 83. And then this one. So they're both the same. So this is like a box or maybe like a clutch bag. And then this is the wallet. Um, and they both have little magnets. Or no, not magnets. They're like 
little press to close. Well, this is one of those coin purse closures, which I hate actually. They're really hard for me to open. Um, hurt my fingies. And then this just has a little, but yeah, this is super cute and it's very small actually. So it'll be really nice to display. And I really don't have any G1 merchandise. I have some bootleg G1 merchandise, which I quite like. I like, um, I don't collect a lot of My Little Pony bootlegs, but G1 bootlegs specifically from the 80s, like I love those. So um, anyway, very cute. And with that, that's it for this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really enjoy buying from these Instagram sellers. They always have really interesting stuff. They collect, there's a difference to me between people who just thrift pick, who don't know anything about toys, but they just know some toys are worth some money. And then they ask in a Facebook group, like, hey, I found these Bratz dolls, which one of these are rare? And then they list the money bay, like scum of the earth. I hate them. But people who are actual collectors and go to thrift stores for themselves, but also are like, oh, I found an interesting thing. I think another collector would like this and then price them fairly. I really appreciate that sort of business. I think those people are like awesome and they are doing so much for the community and I appreciate it. And I like supporting their businesses. There's like five of them that I've bought from pretty consistently for many years and I enjoy them a lot. Um, and I am so excited about some of these dolls that I managed to grab. I've gotten some like really big wish list items from several of these sellers before. So, um, but I think this is probably the, the best haul that I've done in terms of like how many really cool wish list dolls and like dolls that I really needed for my collection in really good condition that I've managed to score. And I'm so grateful. I'm so excited. Uh, and with that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if you've gotten any like interesting dolls recently. I have another secondhand doll haul that I need to post at some point. Uh, I haven't opened the stuff yet. Well, I've opened it to like verify the stuff was in there, but I haven't fully unboxed and like added it to my collection yet. But a bunch of stuff that I bought from Mercari and eBay which somebody needs to delete off my phone permanently because <laughs> you'll see anyway that's it for this video thank you guys so, so much for watching for real this time bye it's time for the video addendum so shoe included it was stuck in the bubble wrap as i suspected and then i also wanted to note because i'm linking in the description i actually paid 20 dollars for both of these i think she was 25 and she was 20 um so i was actually remembering wrong they were way cheaper than i thought they were so anyway i'm so grateful <laughs> i'm so excited and i'm so glad that they have been added to my collection i can't believe i got them especially because these two were in one post generally in a claim sale it's really hard to get two things from one post especially something like monster high where all the customers really want those um yeah um there's my little sketch ups by the way they're right there right now that whole bin full of them <laughs> um anyway that's it for this video for real for real this time bye